Hello and welcome to Cold Place. Uh, if you've played Town Annihilation, I'm sure you've seen this map before. This is, of course, uh, Immortals Trophy Week 2. First game of Week 2. We're in Group 3, where we got uh, Chosen together with Lanelis. Uh If you remember, in Week 1, they had that fight against the YouTube stars where they lost, so they really got to win this game. They are taking on Brain Fart and Brainwashed, who dominated against the two Potato Brothers, uh, Freshie and uh, Mercy Time. So here, a team on the right plane for survival, and uh, the Brain Brothers, they basically, uh, they're looking to clinch uh, at least the second place in the group. And uh, they're doing something really interesting here. Uh, looking at Brainwashed, he has given his first uh, power generator to... Uh, Oh, this is Brainwash has given one power generator brain fart who is rushing a gesture. So this is a really nice uh, strategy for 2v2 in terms of build. So sharing early resources. That really does put you in a hole giving up a power your first power generator. But uh, together they will force out a gesture. And that's going to be a big surprise. That's a, you cannot possibly do this in a 1v1. And that's already on its way to Lanelis. Lanelis, of course, going second land. He's going to have major problems against the Jester. See how he deals with it. And this is a beautiful map. You can see a lot of reclaim all over the place in the middle pond. Multiple places you can get in. So you can see the two fights aren't really equivalent. And here we see now uh, the Jester is going to start getting kills, engineers. A low skill in engineers. And I Siren versus EF battle. We do see mech marines, though, from Lanelis. He might get some payback. His flak coming out. Of course, Jester's uh, are not really afraid of single flak units. Trying to take out some power generators. And more flak. So Lanelis plants have been absolutely uh, devastated. And now when you have two factories producing flak, this Jester will fly away. Maybe look for some engineers to kill. Meanwhile, Lanelis is getting some payback killing engineers. And he's actually not paying enough attention to kill an engineer. He just runs away. Uh, scout directly and uh, let's see what's actually happening up on top brainwashed with Aeon going looks like fourth or third air a whole bunch of power generators uh, taking on uh, Chosen who is about to meet the Jester himself of course Chosen does have some air he's got a scout and he's just got a flak so basically both Chosen and Lanos have been forced to invest heavily into flak but that Jester has finally killed a very good move uh, Really nice try putting the other team in the hole. And we gotta say we got every single faction here. Cybern versus EEF, and on top we got Seraphim versus uh, Aeon. So the aliens up on top, humans on the bottom. Meanwhile, two kills for this uh, mech marine. Uh, did get some payback for Lanelis. Scouting from uh, Chosen. And of course, a map like this where you got a huge pond in between your bases, choosing the two alien races makes sense because then you can either put your uh, auroras across the pond or your floating uh, artillery of course uh, here see if Chosen gets a kill with a Selene this will be really nice and uh, let's see if that engineer can reclaim fast enough just barely one thing I, I do though uh, like is uh, auroras versus EEF or uh, versus Seraphim early on are going to have a huge advantage with kiting so if a brainwash can uh, do a little bit of uh, micro with the stuck one units, you should get a good big advantage. Of course, not chosen using bombers. Very important bomber here. He's got to get those engines. That engineer's got a lot of plans, a lot of naval. So it looks like early navy from brainwash. Brainwash, meanwhile, pushing out with auroras through the top. Only three uh, factories still for chosen. So a little low on factories. And that's going to be an interesting bomb. He's going to get an engi uh, one engine, but we'll get shot down. Looks like fourth uh, land factory coming out for brainwashed. Meanwhile, Lanelis is going still uh, four land factories, G going with his fifth, pu pushing out with the ACU. And the ACU for Brainfart getting a point defense. So looks like Brainfart is going to give up the middle, at least uh, based on this position of that point defense. He will push a little bit with some uh, Manti, but plenty of units for Lanelis. So the Cybern player might, uh, it's really hard to use your speed in a situation like this. You can see how this fight looks like from this direction. You really can't get around the player. So it's going to be a, a nice Tech 1 uh, versus Tech 1 fight and an ACU on ACU fight. 
and the other uh, ocean hover we do see the floating units making appearance the auroras moving across the pond we do see navy uh, actually this factory producing engineers and it looks like these engineers are just going to reclaim all this mass that's kind of free brainwashed now with huge amounts of reclaim so brainwashed really the only one is getting all that reclaim looks like the whole right side really neglecting reclaim here or really forced out by the auroras auroras from Owashi protecting all the mass in the middle we do see an NG from brain fart getting a bit of that mass as well two ACUs now meet each other directly in the middle Chosen does have the right idea though with bombers if he has air control those uh, auroras are going to be in huge trouble but it doesn't really ha look like his air spam supported uh, by too many engineers he does have a huge power spam but Washi has plenty of interceptors to protect Chosen is uh, underwater this is really deep water too it looks like these auroras can shoot over this cliff a mass extractor is going to die so the pond has been populated by auroras auroras really dominated in this game here mid six brain fart meanwhile uh, a little bit of uh, positioning posturing here between laneless and uh, brain fart see how that turns out we do see tech two from uh, brain fart so a nice move so of course hoplite are going to start dominating see some hoplites here already with one kill also stealth field so stealth field and hoplites against just tech one from laneless laneless still just a tech one so he's got numbers versus tech up on top the aurora is just doing whatever the heck they want we do see mostly arty from chosen but chosen really needs a lot more units here otherwise these auroras are going to dominate and this reclamation in the middle is just uh, a problem a huge economical problem for the right side Chosen's ACU just wandering the bottom of the ocean, are completely out of position, although Washington not doing much either. But so many uh, naval factories here now beginning to produce the Tech 1 Navy and so many engineers. Looks like now Laneless having problems against this Tech 2. Siren trying to run past this Tech 1 force they are pretty quick but you don't want to run in the straight lines there's a bit of that UEF artillery the Lobos and maybe a bit of a micro mistake there from brain fart throw away quite a few good units be a nice field of reclaim for laneless good defense from laneless meanwhile brain fart will take the opportunity to push up with his ACU maybe grab a little bit of map control and uh, once again stealth field hoplites manti map control versus a bit of reclaim and this stealth field actually ran away because nobody could see it uh, brainwashed pushing in keeps on pushing some point defenses uh, some good defensive position for chosen but he's really pushed into his base in the middle you see already mass extractors have been taken where oh chosen coming out of the ocean is going to try to help out laneless maybe they're trying to double team brain fart this could be a good move of course there's a point defense to retreat to Entech 2 to deal with laneless also pushing brain fart no upgrades some good overcharge against those hoplites could make a huge difference and of course that point defense it's all about how Chosen and Lanolis deal with that point defense right now they're not do dealing very well Chosen just runs into it and gunships now for Washi making an appearance in this fight and that means that Chosen's got to run gunships from Lanolis as well really a astonishing lack of air from the right side mostly gunships gunship on gunship fights sometimes see this but of course now Washi coming in with uh, some swift twins which are gonna swiftly take over air control and now Chosen finds himself in a really bad situation he does not have navy some marines are gonna force him out of the water and he's gonna face a tech 2 so it was a good idea from Chosen but when you don't have either navy or air you're very vulnerable and Chosen gets killed here minute 10 really unfortunate and that's really the consequence of not having either air or naval control and when you try to get creative with it you will find yourself in a bad position and you're gonna die Lanolis is now gonna be two versus one you can see this whole base is gonna die but really the number we gotta look at here see so much mass for brainwash 10,000 reclaim versus chosen at 4,000 that's extra 6,000 mass in a 10 minute game that's nearly impossible to compete with it was really Aeon taking over the ocean. Aeon really uh, 
maybe a bit of a neglected fight, especially for people who are just learning this game, but in the hands of professionals, they have huge advantages. They may be the best faction. Now the gunship just flying directly over there. Maybe this is not where they want to fly to. Oh, that's going to be a power storage. That was excellent target. Killed all the anti air as well. Very unlucky for Laneless. And Laneless now losing both ground. And uh, his base is just getting ripped apart. So this game is effectively over. Don't expect Laneless to live for too long. So we do see the brain uh, washed uh, taking an early lead in this best of three. And uh, this means that the next game is going to be crucial for Chosen and Lane unless they're going to be fighting for their life and brain far brainwashed to one game away from clinching a spot in the best of eight. Hello and welcome to the second game of this best of three between the Immortals and the Brain Bunch where uh, the Immortals have chosen chosen uh, against Brain Fart in the second game. They did lose the first one. Some really great tactics from uh, the brain, brain Fart and Brainwashed. And Chosen going with Seraphim on the six Icelands. And this map is going to be really interesting. Usually a 3v3. There's a lot of reclaim everywhere. A lot of mask extractors. So looking forward to this. Of course, Chosen if he loses this, uh, his team is effectively out. They still have one game in week three, but that's gonna, it really might affect uh, YouTube Stars and the two Potato Brothers, depending on how that turns out. If YouTube Stars win against Potato Brothers, then this group is effectively over, where uh, YouTube Stars and the Brain Bunch will play for first place. But of course, if the two Potato Brothers win, then uh, Chosen and Laneless have a huge uh, opportunity to uh, really ruin somebody's day which is always fun. It looks like Brain Fart still with Siren. This is nice to see that he's going with Siren. Of course on this map, Siren, that's a very brave move. Siren did uh, great things for him uh, in the first game, of course, with that early gesture. And then Siren Tech 2 did very well as well. Chosen going second air, getting a Hydra with a single uh, Engineer. And a quicker run to the middle. There's a couple nice chunks of ice here, which are mass protected by a Tham and uh, Selene. One thing to note though, chose this is a very popular map for 3v3s and 4v4s and Chosen uh, together with Laneless, they're really, uh, this is where they play most of their games. So this map might be much more familiar for Chosen. See if that makes a, uh, makes a difference. I believe Brainfart mostly played ranked and uh, I know he played a whole bunch of settings as well. But uh, I'm sure he played here. Uh, I mean, this is a very popular map, so I'm sure they're both familiar with it. Here come some bombers from uh, Chosen. On the left side, we see a fight between a Mantis and a Tham, and surprisingly, uh, the Mantis won, so the Tham already had a kill. Brain farts, interceptors chasing scouts. And bombers from Chosen. Excellent bomb. Three kills and now bomb. Those, uh, still one engineer left with some orders. Oh yeah, that was excellent. Five kills for that bomber, five very good engineers. So Chosen really taking early advantage. We do see Brain Farts en uh, Engineer or ACU running directly through the middle. <laughs> see how far he goes. But total air domination and really great rating from Chosen. This is really good. So Chosen uh, in the first five minutes really making a good uh, step toward evening this game of course. Both teams still have most uh, most of their uh, bases alive, although more damage coming. Great to see Selene's plus stamps working together. We're doing a rating. See, not a lot of expanding engineers at all from Brainfart. Chosen's ACU choosing uh, to go sideways uh, to the left. And a big land spam plan. Of course, on this map, we should expect a lot of land spam. You see both players making a lot of Tech 1 land factories. Chosen non-stop bomber still still moving in. And yet another air factory, multiple air factories now for Chosen. No navy here, so air and land. And here this uh fam, four kills already. Five kills between these two units and even more now. The hero tank, seven kills on that Tam, he's not gonna try to run away. And of course with veterancy it is gonna 
regenerate but unfortunately runs into the ACU but total domination here on the left side from that single tank and tech 2 land once again from Brainfart loves his tech 2 land with Cybern can't blame him, he can't really compete uh, in close quarters with Manta. they're really good sneaky units the Manta are good, good as well but 1v1 against the Tham, not a good idea Hoplites I know there will be people who will argue with me about that but it's kinda how I feel about it that's a waste of uh, interceptors there from Brainfart and so far we've seen quite a few things go well for Chosen uh, Chosen winning a fight in the middle so the tech 2 from Brainfart really is going to have to make a huge impact on this game otherwise we've seen the better rating from Chosen also some waste of air from Brainfart we see some Manta trying to sneak in they have been found out but this this is a good rating group from Brainfart some tech 2 here as well Manta another hoplite moving in and uh, there's nothing for Brain no, for Chosen that he can do here he's moving a large section of his units to protect his right side meanwhile Chosen moving up with his ACU together with a whole bunch of uh, tanks and a bunch of flak see Brainfart uh, making an adjustment as well he does have ACU here making multiple point defenses but a lot of artillery from Chosen Chosen really doesn't want to run into the arty he sees the arty he will not target it with some arty good micro Chosen trying to get a factory going but that's really hard on top of forest and now Chosen has to be very careful he is facing tech 2 he is in danger of losing all of his units quickly both ACUs here Chosen uh, perhaps a couple overcharges and another point defense he is losing health very rapidly good micro from both players meanwhile we do see Brainfart still doing all kinds of damage here in the back of Chosen's base tech 1 gunships from Brainfart but we do see quite a bit of flak from Chosen. Chosen brought a lot of flak with him. Also some interceptors moving in. But now we do see Brainfart with superior numbers and tech too. So Chosen trying to get some anti-air defense, but he's got to really worry about land. He's got to run. Because his tech one forces are going to disappear very quickly. You can see he's pulling everything toward uh, Brainfart's base. And Chosen now retreating. Brainfart perhaps following up. So good defense from Brainfart. And Chosen finding himself between two different forces. So he's got to run. There's a bit of an assault directly on uh, Brainfart's base. Brainfart making some emergency point defenses. It looks like that force was finally killed here, that raiding force from Brainfart. Meanwhile Chosen going uh, quite low on health, a bit of an air fight. And actually, yeah we see a massive assault directly on Brainfart's base, but Chosen finding himself in quite a bit of trouble. He's trying to win air back. We did see that some of those gestures die. And now it looks like with a couple overcharges he is able to uh, survive with 5,000 health. So very close. But a great assault from Chosen as he was getting killed. He could have pulled those units to save his ACU but he took a risk and did some uh, pretty good damage. Although it looks like Brainfart still holding on to a couple Tech 2 power generators and uh, mostly Tech 1 mass. So minor damage although that probably did stop quite a bit of that air production and uh, a couple more gestures could have made a huge difference against Chosen's ACU. In terms of map control quite even although it looks like Chosen does have the middle neither player taking these top grounds it's a bit mountains with some reclaiming two mass extractors good place to do drops from and uh, cruise missiles if we see that in this game and you can see this land spam is huge a couple tech to mass extractors as well from Chosen here minute 13 and once again another assault with tech 1 units from Chosen he is not uh, finished yet and looks like he's going to pull another force. This is this is one place where I think Chosen could have done the attack much better instead of attacking the main base. If he would have just did a little micro taking out that point defense, would have denied quite a few uh, mass extractors and engineers. And it looks like there's a big force moving in that direction. Brainfart's uh, army looking very uh, small. Looks like Brainfart going strictly tech to air, and uh, he is going to find himself completely outnumbered. Three forces now from Chosen one to the main base, one to the left, one to the right and the one on the right looks absolutely uh, this is very dire here for brain fire. I don't think he can do much on the left side where his ACU is pretty good defensive position he's got some tech too as long as he doesn't make any micro mistakes in the middle also pretty good defensive position but brain has got to do something about protecting the right side and that is too late we do see a bunch of tech 2 bombers ready for brain fire. perhaps he's readying a snipe but we do see chosen back at base He's now got tech 2. It's going to be much more difficult to kill. Plus some interceptors. Some drops being raided by Chosen. 
but Chosen does not need to do any drops here, just running everything over. We see this tech to force, but not microed, and this is tragic. Hoplite's getting killed by artillery is absolutely tragic. He, th this Hoplite's force with proper micro probably could have done something, but Chosen just out spamming uh, here. Brain fart, huge trouble for Brain fart. I think if these were gunships instead of uh, a really good unit, Corsairs, extremely good unit. Looks like they're going to go for a snipe, but that's uh, not likely to work with this much flak and anti air. If these were gunships, they could have probably killed all these units. We also see some Elshivas, and it would have been a lot of good reclaim for Brainfart, but Brainfart going for a snipe, not making enough land, not making enough defense, getting, gets ran over by Taekwon. It was as simple as that. And uh, this is a really clutch game from Chosen. It evens up the series, and it's going to be laneless versus Brainwashed, where uh, Lanos is going to fight for survival, so great stuff here. And uh, here we got Game 3, where uh, the Immortals are going to fight for survival. Uh, Lanos is going to be representing the Immortals, going for UEF uh, first land, looks like he's going to try to get the Hydra pretty quick. And uh, Brainwashed has a chance to clinch a spot in the best of eight. Either have first or second place, they'll depend on how YouTube stars and the P two potato brothers play. Actually if two potato brothers a uh, win, likely uh brainwashed and brain uh fart are gonna get first place. Of course they are in group three, which means first uh first place is most likely gonna avoid tag and play Tisba and Chevy. That's my prediction. I might get that completely wrong, but if you get second place in this group, it's going to be a game against Tag in the best of eight, and that could be the end of your tournament. So it makes a pretty huge difference. Of course, for Laneless, he's just got to win, so they have a chance to progress. Uh, we just saw Chosen get a really good victory uh, against Brain Fart, given a chance. Because that first game, the 2v2, was quite dominant by Brainwashed and Brain Fart. This is a chance for uh, the Immortals to continue. So early on, not too much rating at all from either player. No bombers here coming up minute three. First uh, unit to cross the midpoint is going to be an engineer from Lanelist trying to get some of that middle mass. Both EF players just trying to get you build up. They do have two tanks here on either side from Brainwash trying to protect the engineers. And... Uh, much better expansion actually from brainwashing here he comes with a scout looks like uh, Lanelis going out with ACU this is a lot like Chosen Chosen also sent his ACU to the left and also Chosen sent an NG to the middle to try to get some of that mass brainwashed also just like Brainfart going with his ACU to the middle so nearly mirror images here although we did see a lot more raiding from Chosen not nearly as much raiding from Lanelis and that engineer survives barely survives to health a bomber going after it. Here comes an air factory, which uh, Lanelis needs to start producing units quick. This bomber is killing unprotected engineers. That actually denied a really huge expansion. Another great bomb. Two more, two more engines died. Three kills on that bomber. Well, now an interceptor from Lanelis is going to put an end to that. Lanelis now moving out with a nice tank force, no scouts so that However, in a point defense, as long as Lanelis avoids that point defense, he can do some damage. And it looks like a pretty big force going over to the left side in that general direction with some arty here as well. Lanelis is just going to avoid uh, the point of fence and move in. Two ACUs are going to meet each other on the left side. It doesn't look like Brainwashed has too much protection for his ACU. And uh, Brainwashed getting a pretty large force and force Lanelis to retreat. Meanwhile, Lanelis here in the back, I'm not sure if Brainwashed even sees this. He has to. It looks like he doesn't. He has to know there's something there. And I's gonna know for sure. So a good move there from Laneless will cause all kinds of problems. Now th these positions really remind me of open palms, people trying to get a point defense, protecting these expansions. That's exactly what we're seeing. Pretty even fight here now between Laneless and Brainwashed. A push for Brainwashed through the middle, but Laneless will clean it up very easily. And a push from Laneless on the left side. Uh, looking at the land spam here, quite a few land units from Laneless. He's got a couple engines on our power spam. Also, interceptor spam from a single factory. And he's got some issues here, perhaps on the right side. He does have a force. 
it's really going to come down to micro here and it looks like yeah brain fart or brainwashed is going to be forced to retreat a push through the middle from Lanelist now this is good stuff looks like Lanelist once again is going to try to get around the outside and Lanelist will retreat so UEF on UEF really not too many advantages uh, in terms of speed or health or anything like that or kiting it becomes a very even battle pretty big air force from Lanelist we see some entities from brainwashed as well doing the scouting the ACU for Lanelist is directly in the middle ACU for brainwashed getting an upgrade it appears to be that it's tech 2 or maybe that's not that's the gun so that'll be even more interesting looks like some forgotten units here from Lanelist although they did deny a couple of mass extractors would be love to see this already shoot these engineers probably kill all of them at once but it's not happening unfortunately a big force through the middle from brainwashed but now Lanelist is going to push no upgrades but you see here the air has scouted Lanelist now simultaneous attacks however it looks like a pretty big counter attack now and the gun for brainwashed he's pushing down the left side Lanelist is going to have to do something about it reinforcements for brainwashed on the right that means Lanelist may have to be a little more careful Meanwhile, Lanelist two kills, brainwashed, avoiding the ACU. And Lanelist here has got to retreat. He's got a lot of arty here, so if brainwashed doesn't micro, he's going to pay the price. Like right there. And now, brainwashed moving into the middle while well, Lanelist retreats. So, with that gun, brainwashed getting some respect, looks like he's going to even out. Map control dead even. See massive land spam from brainwashed. Massive land spam from uh, Lanelist as well. See a couple tech to mask ejectors. Actually, tech two land now from Lanelist. He's choosing to go with the mongoose. And now full retreat. Tech two uh, point defense is directly in the middle. And now looks like a push from Lanelist on both sides. And this force on the right was absolutely annihilated. Now that's a big problem for brainwashed on the right side. A little more success on the left, however. This force can do damage and already moving in as long as it avoids the point defenses. It's going to deny that hydro perhaps. Moving directly toward the factory, some power storages would be a great targets. But Brainwash looks like really going to be focusing on the right side. We see a response from Lanelis here, minute 12. Some mongoose. Pretty big uh, tech 2 land spam. Also, tech 2 point defenses. A bit of a creep through the middle. Also, some tech 2 power generators. And this force from Lanelis making it all the way to the back of the base. That's something that uh, Brainwash is going to have to deal with. Extremely even game so far, but a massive assault now. Tech 1 from Brainwashed. Micro from these Mongoose can earn a very important victory, though, for Lanelist. It's going to be a lot of reclaim. As long as they stay away from direct contact. And uh, they're not. They're getting surrounded. And that's not good. Although this force now from Lanelist is causing all kinds of damage. Three mass extractors killed. And yet another assault from brainwash now on the left side we do see units from Lanelist good control of the units they're really bunched up a lot of local firepower and map control really shifting now toward brainwash he has denied quite a few mass extractors here we see Lanelist moving in with his ACU tech 2 engineer could continue the tech 2 point defense creep if you wanted to now the mongoose doing a great great things at range and an air fight that looks like Lanelis will win over the middle he does have tech to air so as soon as he wins air you might see tech to gunships that's going to be very interesting and Lanelis getting some veterancy on the AC it's always nice to get veterancy in games like this can make a huge difference point defense to retreat to for Lanelis here minute 14 Brainwash pushing him back a little bit the middle completely belongs to Brainwash at least for now which does mean some good reclaim and good raiders more tech to point, no this is a TMD Good move with the Team D. Multiple Team Ds through the middle there for Lanelis. Do we see any cruise missiles? We do see Tech 2 Power, multiple Tech 2 Power for Brainwash now. Don't see Tech 2 Land yet, which might be a bit surprising. Oh, no, Tech 2 Land, sorry, it's right here. Tech 3 Land, sorry. That's why I didn't see Tech 2. So Brainwash going with Tech 3. So for a short while, this Tech 2 shouldn't have a lot of success for Lanelis. He also has engineers here. He's going to get a lot of reclaim. He's got to repopulate his mask extractors. 
And here, a force from Lena is up the middle. Looks like getting caught here uh, with low numbers. You got to retreat to where he's going to have. Uh, actually, it looks like he's just going to sneak out while Brainwash isn't paying attention. A Tech 2 force, a good counterattack for Lenos is going to get a lot of the map back. Of course, we got to see Titans on the field. Those should make a huge impact. Titans in the middle now. A really nice back and forth fight. Tech 2 gunships, uh, not surprisingly from Lanelis. So we're going to see Tech 2 Air versus Tech 3 Land. And Lanelis here, bit sloppy in the middle. He's just lost a bunch of units. Tech 1 uh, moving in on the left side from Brainwashed. And now these Monkus got really deep and they're going to be a big pain to kill. However, we are seeing Titans and Shields from Brainwashed. So you should be able to secure the right side. See how much damage those Monkus can actually do. I see a lot of reclaim here. Just littered with dead units all over the place and Lanelis should get a good eco from that. An air fight, very important air fight. Gunships kind of hidden here from Lanelis on the left side. It looks like they are going to get into the fight, although it looks like this fight is very even. And Tech 2 Flak, of course, will make a difference as well. We do see some Tech 2 Flak moving out. Here come the gunships. Tech 1 mask ejectors are the targets, although they will have to kill a lot more than four Tech, tech 1 mass extractors uh, to pay for themselves. But they really got to kill that Tech 1 point defense so the Tech 1 land units can move in and run everything over. And the Mongoose, as expected, 17 kill Mongoose, 8, 16, 18, 7, and another 17. A really nice force there from uh, Lanelis still in the back. But we see now Brainwash moving in with huge forces on the right side and a pretty big force on the left, although these gunships should be able to put a good play some really good defense here. Here come the Titans. And that Titan, very disappointing. Died. Not too much micro here from Brainwash. He's just throwing these units in, hoping that Titans with just their superior tech can get the victory. Another move from Lanelis in between these bases moving in. Although it looks like those Mongols were finally killed. This is madness, I agree. This is pretty really good stuff. And gunships doing great jobs for Lanelis even though it doesn't look like Brainwashed uh, has lost air, and it looks like Brainwashed is about to win air, and these gunships need to be protected. And Brainwashed now. This is really not looking too good now for Lanelis suddenly. He's got a huge problem on the right side. Not much that he can possibly do against it unless he gets a lot of Tech 3, and uh, that's exactly where we're seeing Lanelis making a lot of Tech 3. And those gunships were really nice gunships, but died. A push by Laneless might actually have some good success. Looks like that point defense is killed, but multiple Titans should be able to provide enough defense. And total air domination, that's really the worst part for Laneless. It makes things very dangerous for him. Some tech to flag, perhaps? Yeah, there is some tech to flag for Laneless. And this could be a huge mistake for a brainwashed flying with all those units over tech to flag. He can lose them very quickly. Looks like these forces still making good progress for Lanelis, creating problems. Very nice looking force there in the back. Expect that to do damage later. And here we got tech 3 versus tech 3. Important battle that actually, if Lanelis wins this, he's going to get a lot of reclaim once again. Look at Laneless ACU, perhaps he's got missiles, he's got cruise missiles. And ye of cruise missiles, that's going to be very nice. Would love to see more flak though from uh, Laneless because the lack of air is quite disturbing. And here come the gunships. Oh, this is terrible, uh, this is terrible for uh, Laneless. Gunships are going to target his ACU. Where is the flak? There's some Tech 1. Lanel is losing health rapidly here. And Lanel is just a little too aggressive with the ACU. Leaving his ACU exposed. Losing air for a couple of minutes. Loses tech to gunships after 22 minutes. And that is the end of this best of three and the end for Lanel and Chosen. They'll still have a very important role to play in week three. Deciding who's going to move on. But... Uh, their turning is effectively over. Of course, now Brainwashed and uh, Brainfart have earned themselves 
a spot in the best of eight and I'll be fighting for first place against YouTube stars next week.